Markets react big to the new Omnicron, Omnicron. Megatross. I'm not sure. It sounds like a uh, Marvel character to me. But the new variant that's out right now has markets sort of shaking in their boots. And in today's video, what we're going to be talking about is how to possibly face this as it comes into markets and what it could do to things like the US dollar, the stock market, etc. In this video, we're gonna be talking about some trade ideas and setups for today, November 30th, at the time of making this video. Now, before I get too far into the video and uh, jump into a bunch of charts and stuff, I do wanna say our Black Friday sale is ending officially today. So if you'd like the 40% off discount on things like our trade alerts and the chat room access and coaching webinars that we do within our private Discord server, all the information can be found down below in the description. And if you use that promo code, again, 40% off the lowest price of the year. So if you've been on the fence about joining, this is literally your last day to get access to that 40% off sale. So with that said, let's go ahead and jump into the video. All right, you guys. So the first thing I wanted to start with, with this new uh, data that we're seeing coming in and the concern from markets is the DXY. Now the DXY, if you're not familiar, it is the US dollar currency index. And uh, it just took a little bit of a vacation. It must've just be sick or uh, under the weather or something, cause it is just dropping like crazy. And uh, if you've been watching the channel, you know that the dollar long thesis has been my bread and butter trade the last few months. And uh, so with this coming down, down. I'm not actually that surprised. The dollar has been floating higher and higher and higher. There's been so much optimism around hawkish and uh, hawkish stances from the Fed, rate hikes, things like that. So to see this thing coming down today is not uh, you know out of the question, and it makes a lot of sense with concerns around the uh, the new variant coming out. Again, I'm not sure how to say it. Omicron, Omicron, not sure, but. I wanna talk a little bit about this and what may be around the corner. Now, why would a market sell off in response to this? Why would the dollar come down? Now, if you're asking about the dollar, we'll start here fundamentally. This makes a lot of sense. The Fed has been very hawkish, meaning that they're talking about reducing stimulus, which when it comes to stimulus, remember, the more money you print of a currency, the faster it goes down. During the pandemic, we saw a massive amount of stimulus printed, not just by the US and the Fed, but countries around the world were rapidly printing money to help stimulate economies and keeping things afloat. Uh, now they've sort of talked about reducing that stimulus, uh, meaning that they're trying to taper or reduce the amount of money that they're printing to stimulate economies because things have been looking good. What that does is it actually causes the US dollar to strengthen, especially relative to other currencies, since other countries in broad scale speaking, a lot of them are still printing money like crazy and have not slowed down as much. So that has been such a bullish catalyst for the dollar, right? The less we print, uh, the more attractive the dollar looks compared to other currencies. But with this new variant possibility and the new fears around it, what that can do is it can cause the dollar to get weaker because people are saying, oh, well, the Fed is going to back out of this concept and they're going to go back to doing this, right? They might need to increase stimulus. Now, that's not a for sure fact. That's just a possible speculation or a concern from market participants. Maybe the Fed will ease off the acceleration uh, pedal, if you will, and start looking at things uh, more conservatively and may start to increase that stimulus or loosen their monetary policy. So with that said, we are seeing the dollar sell off today, big time. If that helped you anyway, uh, by the way, if that was at all helpful, if you're a fundamental trader, you're learning about fundamentals, do me a favor and just a reminder to hit that like button down below if you're enjoying the channel, if you're enjoying the content. Um, so we'll look at this on a four hour chart and you can see it really has made a pretty significant dent in the bullish thesis. In fact, if we draw a regression uh, channel or a regression trend, you know, we go here, you can see things were really swimming, uh, swimmingly, right? Things were going really well. And then bam, big news dropped off of a cliff. And we're actually also seeing the S&P 500 drop as well. So we're seeing the stock market kind of coming down and responding to this as well. But back to the dollar for just a moment. So DXY, uh, what can we expect? Well, 
I'm still bullish on the dollar, but I'm a little bit cautious to jump into anything right away. Now, if we look at this thing on a daily time frame, which we might have to, we might have to get a little bit bigger picture here uh, and expect that, hey, this might have markets shaking in their boots for a little bit, and we might be headed down to the 61.8, my friends, and that could be a little bit Harry, right? We may have some intraday opportunities. If you're a day trader and you're looking at the dollar and you're saying this thing looks uh, looks a little too heavy on the on the top side, maybe there's some intraday stuff. We've had some significant breakouts to the downside, again showing you that regression trend line uh, for that reason of a little bit of change in momentum. We've seen that break out to the other side. So again, keeping tabs on everything, I do think that there is a possibility that we see the dollar retrace further, maybe even tag that 61.8. Now, this is not me forecasting or trying to uh, forecast what's gonna happen with the whole medical situation. I am by no means an expert in that area. I leave politics out of my channel as much as I possibly can, but in reference to markets, it's more about the perceived fear and the possibility of what uh, implications a new variant could have on markets, right? Doesn't matter if you believe in something, if you don't believe in something, if you, doesn't matter, right? Your opinion does not matter to the markets because the markets are basically trying to factor in what a new variant could potentially do. We don't know enough about it. And if as new data comes out, it could heavily impact markets. We could see a bigger crash. We could see a rally from here, but in my opinion, both from a technical and fundamental perspective, I think the dollar could take a little bit of a pause. This could be our chance to maybe see a retest of 94.6, 94.7, somewhere in that right uh, region uh, as price does seem like it wants to come down in response to uh, the, the uh, new variant stuff, right? That seems to be the headline of the day. Uh, well, again, quick look at the S&P 500. Uh, you can see price coming down pretty uh, pretty good. We had a little bit of a rebound here today. Uh, you can actually see on the one hour chart, big green bars coming in now. So we're going to have to keep tabs on that. Uh, if you're watching that US 30, just in reference to this, uh, also coming down pretty hard, a little bit of a rebound here. Now we'll have to watch to see if that can continue to recover or not. Uh, so we'll continue on. Let's take a look at some of the other currencies. Uh, you you know, you've got things like pound yen dropping off of a cliff. And this makes sense as people are flocking into the yen, which is the other major currency that I wanted to talk about here in today's video. Short term, I think the yen possibly gets a little bit of a boost here. I think that the yen strengthening makes a lot of sense because again, uh, with that concern, we see, uh, generally speaking, markets favoring the yen and the Swiss franc. Why? Because those are generally perceived as risk off currencies. Real quick, what is risk on? What is risk off? For those of you guys who are newer to the channel or to trading in general, um, risk on is basically uh, investors saying, hey, we are willing to put risk on the table. Why would you wanna take risk? Well, because there's more growth when you take more risk. But risk is really, really dangerous when markets are scary. We call that a shift into risk off. Basically people saying, I don't wanna buy things that are risk on, I'd rather buy things that are risk off and park my money in something safer. So what falls under risk on? Stocks, AUD, GBP, CAD, commodity currencies in general. What falls under risk off? Yen, gold, CHF, euro, kind of dollar, but uh, the dollar flip flops. Just know that the big catalyst here for the yen right now seems to be the very same thing that is causing the US dollar to come down, right? Uh, and a lot of these other commodity currencies to come down. For example, AUD JPY coming down really, really hard. NZD JPY coming down. CAD yen getting sloshed, right? Just getting destroyed here. So, um, what is the reason? Well, again, uh, oil, very uh, the CAD is very dependent on oil. So there might be a trade here. If you are short term bearish on the CAD, uh, there may be some opportunities to possibly trade this thing to the short side if you get a nice opportunity. So for example, oil, uh, why would oil matter? Well, oil tends to come down when markets are not doing so hot, when things are scary, because again, there's a less demand, right? The supply lines dry up, there's less uh, you know, ships going around in the ocean, uh, there's less trade, ports might close off, things like that, right? We saw that happen big time in 2020. 
and that caused the oil market to absolutely come crumbling down. So um, again, that also impacts the Canadian dollar because the CAD is very, very correlated in some ways to the oil market. More demand for oil means better demand for the Canadian economy to be steamrolling ahead. So when we look at CAD yen, if you think short term that the Delta variant, not the Delta variant, um, we're on to the next one now. The Omnicron supervillain uh, new variant. Very subtle. If you think that has potential to slow down markets for a little while, maybe you're looking at retests on the, the CAD yen for possibilities of more short side action. So again, we're combining fundamentals with technicals here. We are seeing a nice trending market to the downside on a lot of these CAD pairs. USD CAD might be another one if you are bullish on the dollar. Maybe there's opportunities to find a pullback within this, right? For example, we can draw that trend line again. You do have price uh, hovering towards the limits, but if you see a little bit of a dip, maybe there's an opportunity to pick up some there, right? That's the idea. Simple concepts of just going with the flow until things change. And a lot of times we do see this, right? We see rumors come into the market and that shakes the boots of the room, of the of the market based on that rumor. Uh, again, I'm not saying that it's going to be a, a six month long thing, but it could be, right? Sometimes markets throw some weird things at you. And, and you know, I'm just gonna say this, when the, I'll be the first one to say this, I was totally wrong about the uh, the initial uh, situation with, with uh, COVID-19, right? When it first came out, I bought stocks, right? Cause I was like, oh, that's a dip. And then it went down. Uh, fortunately, in my case, I did end up buying the majority of my stocks as things deepened further into that dip, uh, and they've been really incredible since then. But the point is, right, the point is, uh, sometimes you can be wrong, right? I thought that the whole COVID situation was an overreaction. I was wrong. So again, be aware that, uh, you know, my opinions are not always correct, and neither are anybody else's. So please be careful. Uh, please be safe trading these sort of things. But again, generally speaking, short term bearish on the dot. Uh, short-term bullish on the yen, uh, or at least being cautious with yen trades and dollar trades. I think gold possibly finds a bounce somewhere. If inflation concerns rise again, you may get gold headed back up, right? So keep tabs on this, these markets. Again, pullback plays, things like that, breakouts. Those are the concepts that I'm looking for, you guys. Uh, if you've been watching the channel, you know I'm looking for break and retests. I'm looking for entries. I'm looking for trending markets. And again, that's all uh, that I'm, I'm focused on right now. The yen and the dollar seem to be the most interesting currencies in my view. And then you've got, of course, the S&P coming down and the gold market, a, a possibly attractive play uh, to keep tabs on. So of course, if I take any trades, you guys will see them inside of the Discord. And as I mentioned earlier on, the discount for 40% off is ending today at the time of making this video. So get it if you want it. You can come see the trades that I'm taking, uh, whatever they are, win, lose, I put them out there for you to, uh, for, for members to see. You also get access to our chat rooms, uh, the, the trade alerts from the other uh, analysts that we have. We do coaching webinars with Ivan from uh, from Norway, good friend of mine, all sorts of good stuff. So all the information is linked down below uh, there in the description. And with that said, guys, have a great rest of your day. We'll see you back in the next video. What's up guys? Thanks for watching today's video. There are more videos available on our channel here and here. So go ahead and click into that for some more free trading content. With that said, thanks for watching. We'll see you back next time.